Welcome to this instructional video. I am Carolina and how does it sound when I tell you that it is now possible to introduce HFDS in a simple and even easier way? Let's dive into this. Oh, look at this, compact, flexible and mobile. With this HFDS dry lip kit, it is possible now, but I think there is something missing. Now, let's have a closer look how it works. First step, open the HFDS dry lip kit. And thanks magnetic snap lock, we can open the box without much effort. Second step, scan the QR code. Scan the QR code to watch use instruction. Third step, prepare and set up. Take the first layer out of the box, then take out from the second layer the marker and the USB camera with its holder. The cannula and the diatermy handpiece. Put the first layer back into the box. Then attach the diatermy handpiece to the surgery platform and select the HFDS function. Open the HFDS cover and connect the tip with the diatermy handpiece. Attach the cannula to the syringe pre-filled with viscoelastic substance. and place the HFDS artificial eye into the holder. Note that the artificial HFDS eye can be reused either four times or until the iridocorneal angle is used up. Mount the USB camera with its holder and connect the camera via USB to your notebook. Open a camera supporting program, for example, Zoom. And now you can demonstrate HFDS remotely to your customers or viewers. For example, you can use Zoom to show the application in real time at any location. All you need is a notebook, an earthly surgery platform like the Cataracts 3, and internet connection. Additional, you can also demonstrate HFTS with this dry lab kit in a general wet lab environment. Step 4. Surgery steps. Take the incision knife, make an incision and mark the incision site. Tilt the holder with the HFDS eye up to 30 to 35 degree. The holder enables flexible tilting. In general, insert viscoelastic substance into the anterior chamber. Note that the HFDS eyes are pre-filled with viscoelastic substance. Apply visco on the cornea and place the gonial on the cornea. Place the USB camera in position and focus the iridocorneal angle with the camera and adjust brightness. Therefore, there are two sliders on the camera head. Insert the HFDS tip. Make sure to have a good view into the iridocorneal angle. Cut six pockets close to each other by simultaneously pressing down the pedal. Mm -hmm. 
Last, we drag the tip out of the eye. Step 5. Disassemble and rebox. Important! Clean the HFDS tip from visco residues before storing in the box again. Separate all components and put them back into the foam. Put the HFDS eye back into the container. Important! Store the eye in water to make them durable and to maintain the realistic appearance. Tip! Rinse the cannula with water to avoid drying of the viscoelastic substance. Finally, everything can be easily stored in the box again. Now it's your turn and make the difference with the HFDS dry lip kit.